Right, it's known as the nation's oldest residential street, and tonight it's decked out for the holidays. Meteorologist Chelsea Ingram joins us live from Alfred's Alley, this time with a special twist. Chelsea. <laughs> That's right, you guys, we're really getting into the holiday spirit out here. It's the Making Christmas Exhibit. It's open until 8 o'clock tonight. There's some mold wine. There's also some sweet treats and some pretzels. And I'm joined now by Jessica Nolan. She's actually a German pastry chef and also her adorable nine-year-old daughter. She's so cute. Kira. Uh, Kira, so tell us a little bit more about some of these sweet treats that we have down here. You made all these. Um, yeah, so traditionally these are made for Christmas. Christmas season, uh, very heavy on the spices or decorative purposes. So the Springerla here is the coolest, in my opinion. Um, it's super intricate. It right? is, it is. So the idea was to actually paint mold and paint them so that way they could be hung on your Christmas tree as ornaments. So I love that. the original ornament, maybe. And edible too. And pretzels, we can't forget about uh, those. Yeah, right? any time is a good time for a pretzel. I'm sure Philly understands that. So, right. <laughs> yeah, because I asked you earlier, I'm like, okay, are pretzels kind of uh, something uh, Germany has around the holidays? But you said no, any time's a good time for a pretzel. Any time. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. And beer. I mean, we're missing that today. <laughs> but we have mulled wine, so we got, you know, we have something. <laughs> and you have a book here? Mm hmm. Yeah, so my husband and I have uh, our new German cooking book, which is available for purchase tonight here at Alfred's Alley. But you can also get it on Amazon.com, Barnes & Noble. Um, it's basically our modern approach on German food. So, all right, all right. Yeah. Thank you so Absolutely. much. And tonight, a great night to be out and about, not just in Alfred's Alley, but also really across the entire city. However, it is chilly. I mean, it's been cold all day, so you know that. We're going to drop into the 30s as we head into the 11 o'clock hour. Also see some clouds filtering in from time to time, but overall still a nice and dry night to be out and about in the city. Not so sure that we're going to be, the, say, be able to say the same thing as we head into the weekend.